used to be in a mix up. Can you now argue with somebody? Obviously, it's not his. But I have number 12. No, no. She took it in. Everybody else is I had a word, you see. You're very good help. Thank you so much for this fine repast. Film stuff. Indeed. Does that work? Carry on. Does there nothing happening? Fantastic. Can't wait to get to the top of that. Nothing compared to what it used to be. We're, we're here now at the moment at the top of uh, the Art of the Lion. If you look over there, that little farm down there is where they say. As you may notice, we're at the top of a very high hill. It was built after the war, after the battle, and it was all the earth and the surrounding area was dug up to make it, which flattened this complete hillside here. So when you look at it, it looks like a nice gentle slope, but of course back in 1815 it wasn't. It was quite a steep ravine, and that's what the French had trouble marching up. It looks like a piece of cake now. Uh, over the side was part of our right wing, and it was to be held at all costs, the idea being that it would draw troops, many troops from the French, and it took, they took about 14,000 troops who were engaged in that action, which drew away from the centre. Napoleon hoping, of course, that we would draw from our centre to support. Which, of course, Wellington didn't do. He kept his troops here, which meant that the French just had to march straight on into us in the old style. And they did. And we shot them to shit. Now, oh, that's a guarded two and a half. This monument took it all away. It's been not much. On Sunday, the 18th of June, 1815, this battlefield was the scene of merciless combat for more than 10 hours. 35,000 horses under the fire of 500 cannons. La cité Wellington a dégarni au centre de sa ligne de défense. In recognition of your outstanding efforts on the field of Waterloo yesterday, <laughs> we would like to take this opportunity to inaugurate you into the 18th century club as two members, fully fledged, paid up members. Mr. Alan Ramsey, tackled <laughs> Count Barbarossa von Blücher, <laughs> membership number 12. Now. Thank you. Here's your certificate, you'll have to store it as you will. Damn <laughs> fine to meet you, old boy. Damn fine to have you with us. Mr. Andrew Muddyman, tackle Graf Schlamm, D. Kartoffel, a Mud, the Spud in German. <laughs> Count Schlamm, welcome to the 18th Century Club. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Right. And we'd also like to point out that this does make you both the right pair of Prussian counts. 